Okay, so yeah, first of all, just tell me your name so I've got it done. Jonathan Sessions, J O N A T H A N S E S S I O N S. I'm used to that. Yeah, I'm I don't sure know if that's a necessary with <laughs> radio. So tell us, how has your day been? Uh, busy. Uh, it started early this morning. <clears throat> Losing my voice, forgive me. It started early this morning with a uh, business conference and showcase uh, and a quarterly membership breakfast with the Chamber of Commerce. And I then went and hung out at. Um, Went and hung out at the the Ark for a little while to meet some voters, squeezed into lunch, and then hung out at the library for a little while. So I'm a little sunburned, but uh, it's it's a long day, and I have a feeling it's going to keep going for a while. When do you expect results to start pouring in? I don't know. We, we talked about it. We Probably 9, 10 o'clock, we got some initial results, and they're, they're very positive, and so we're very encouraged at this point. It's just absentee, but uh, we're, we're still very excited and, and, uh, and feeling good. So. Why is it important to run in this election for you? You know, it was, I really wanted to, to be involved in the Columbia Public Schools. I, I grew up here. Uh, the Columbia Public Schools are very important to me. I recognize how important they are to this community. And, and my background's in education. I have my degrees in education from the university here. And I always, I got, uh, I moved away. and I, Well, not moved away, but I, I moved away from education into, into technology business. But I, um. I uh, then I, I always knew I'd come back to education in, in some way, and uh, I kind of always imagined that'd be in a classroom setting. But uh, this is definitely a way that I can use my experience as a business owner, um, as an educator, as a Columbia Public Schools graduate, and uh, that it, I can use those those skills and those experiences and and apply them to the position of the board. And I think it would it would benefit the board. Can you tell us a bit about your vision for technology in the schools? You know, I think we're going to continue to see technology change. I don't have any uh, vision. It's difficult to, to have a vision in, uh, in technology. Uh, you can have some ideas, and you can kind of see where things are going on, on the edge there, but it's, it's constantly changing. It's a sprint that, uh, that's, that never ends. And so it's important to, to look at the technology we have, assess what we have, uh, assess our options and make sure that our investments in technology are, are smart, uh, smart investments that provide opportunities for students, whether that's in classroom learning or online learning uh, for students that need it. And how does that differ from the, the other candidates running technology wise? You seem to be kind well, of. Well, I just, I, all I can speak to is, is my experience in technology. It's what I do on a day to day basis, and it's, it's you know, what my skill set is and, and what my business does. And it's, you know, it's obviously important for me to be on be on the cutting edge and know what's going on and uh, know where the technologies are and uh, know what the standards are to make sure that things are compatible, things work together. And so I think those are all experiences that I have and uh, and expertise and expertise that I have that that will benefit the board in decision making in in an era where you know technology as is and I think should be ubiquitous as, as pencil and paper in, in education. I want to know, um, what, what sort of department are you going to bat for? Because th there is sort of like this you know, sort of, you know, the, people are nervous about these cuts. I, it's, it's challenging. And again, I, I'm not, you know, this is a big picture. Uh, being on the Columbia School Board is, is a big picture position. And there, there's no, you know, I, uh, I don't have a good answer for that because it's, there's no, well, I do have a good answer. It's, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than one department. Uh, there are certain things that it, it just comes down to, you know, what's best for our students' education. That's all it boils down to is what's what's best for our students. What's going to have the best, or or you know, uh, what what do we what things do we need to avoid that are going to have the the worst impact on student success? And we we need to really think about those things when when making decisions about uh, about the budget and, and where where we might cut. Now, obviously, a lot of a lot of budget cuts have, you know, have been made. Uh, they've already been decided on by the current board, so I'm going to come on to a position, and there's not going to be a lot I can do for a whole year about any budget cuts. So it's not going to be an issue until, until we're looking at the, the 2012 state budget and, and the next year's school budget. So what are things that you see that you can possibly affect within the, within the next year? You know, it's it's again, it's it's you know, hopefully if this bond issue passes, um, which it's it's looking very positive right now. Uh, I think really that's going to be the key focus in making sure that uh, 
we're making good decisions as a board and with uh, the construction manager position that's already been decided on by the board to bring economic development to Columbia, to bring those jobs to Columbia and, and, and to help grow Columbia's economy. What happens if you don't win tonight if you don't get a seat? No, I'll uh, have a little bit more free time. Uh, but uh, I'm going to continue to be involved in, in education. I, you know, I am already actively involved in, in you know, youth groups and... Uh, in high school, what department went to bat for you? Went to bat for me? Like what, I don't know, everyone has their niche in high school, what was yours? Um, I was very involved in music and theater in high school, um, but at the same time, I, you know, I run an IT company, uh, and I uh, you know, count on, as much as uh, I count on my, you know, the, what fine arts I think did for me is uh, really assist me in uh, helping develop problem solving. Uh, skills and um, I, you know, I count on trade skills that I got myself through through personal training and through through courses and certifications. So it's um, it's you know I, when I was in high school it was fine arts, but at the same time I recognize how important um, I recognize how important uh, <laughs> technology and and trade the relationship are. between arts and. Yeah. And, you know, and that was a question I was asking. You know, what would I at, uh, at at a forum? I don't remember which one it was. You know, which would you cut, fine arts or trade? And I thought, you know, half of the budget isn't fine arts, and half of the budget isn't trade or, or technical training or certification. It's it's a bigger picture than that, and it's it's really you know, it's, it's sitting down and looking at, at the specific issues that we're facing when we have to face them. And I'm I am thankful that this board has. Has, and this administration has made some excellent choices and had just created a long-term plan. And uh, I appreciate that that's, that's already been done. And uh, I think that does take a, a lot of the uh, concern that I had about the budget um, maybe a year ago. Uh, uh, it takes a little bit of that concern away. But <clears throat> at the same time, it's, you know, there's, you know, it's, budget's going to be tight. And it's something that we're going to continue to have to deal with.